friends, in this session we are going to study the blastocyst stage of embryonic development in mammals. The mammalian zygote undergoes a few cycles of mitotic division to form a solid ball of cells called morula. The cells continue to divide further and a cavity is formed within it at a later stage. This stage is called the blastocyst stage of embryonic development. This stage corresponds to the blastula stage of other organisms. Its distinctive features distinguish it from the morula and the later stages of development. For this session, we require permanent slide and chart or models of transverse section of blastocyst and compound microscope. Let us take the permanent slide of transverse section of blastocyst and place it under the low power of the compound microscope. Focus it properly and observe the features. Under the microscope, we observe that a transverse section, the blastocyst appears as a circular structure. It has a cavity within it, which is called blastocele. Zona pellucida degenerates in the blastocyst. We can see an outer layer of blastomere cells called trophoblast. We also observe a cellular mass adhered to the trophoblast on one end of the blastocyst. This cellular mass is called inner cell mass. Inner cell mass at one pole looks like a knob that gives rise to the embryo. It is called embryonic knob. The trophoblast does not take part in the formation of the embryo proper. It remains external to the embryo and give rise to the extra embryonic membranes and also the embryonic part of the placenta. These structures are used for the protection and nourishment of the embryo. The trophoblast cells in contact with the embryonal knob are known as the cells of rubber. The human zygote develops into the human adult through a series of developmental stages. This exercise will help the learners in understanding the blastocyst stage of human embryonic development and distinctive features of the blastocyst explained through the slide and photographs. The label diagram of the blastocyst help to distinguish it from the previous stage, morula and the later stages of the embryonic development. Now, try to explore the answers to the questions. Which distinctive structure present in the transverse section of blastocyst distinguish it from the morula and which part of the blastocyst gives rise to the embryo? On successful completion of this session, the learner will be able to mark label diagram of blastocyst stage of embryonic development of mammals apply scientific terminology for the structure of blastocyst based on internationally accepted conventions, demonstrate skills of handling microscope by observing slides under it and communicates the finding while sharing their observations. Thank you. <music>